Hello operators of the commonwealth, it is Gaming Private again with another video for y'all today. Do you want a realistic Russian weaponry? But you don't want to use Hyper's AK-74? Then look no further than the newly released Zenit AK-74M with a PYA Grok pistol. This is quite the combo together. Alright, so the Zenit has finally released. Thank SpongeBob Slavic Pants for releasing this mod finally and finishing it. And thank Lekilgore especially for porting it over to consoles. I will post down the PC link and the Xbox link down in the description below, along with the server of where I have most of my Fallout 4 mods from armor wise anyways let's get on with the video and why not to fit the occasion with some russian gear while we're at it okay anyways so you you can find the zenith and the leveled lists or you can craft it under its own category um, and the chem bench, it will be called AK-74 Zenico, which is where you can get the AK-74. It has a base damage of 50, a fire rate of 40, a range of 11, accuracy of 63, a weight of 5 pounds, and a value of 100 caps. Okay, let's see if that's accurate in its own category. And then for the pistol, it has its own category as well. It's called a PYA Grok with its own ammunition, 5.56 millimeter. It has a base damage of 57, fire rate of 50, range of 17. Okay, that cannot be accurate. Anyways, let's go look at how both of these look. And this is how it's random when you craft it so this is how it looks some of the customization on it um all right this is on fully automatic uh full auto the ammunition its own ammo type and everything so, yeah let's see how it how it feels and the safety turns off. That's already a good part of the mod. Let's see how it sounds. Wow. Alright, so that was the... And it closes the safety when you... Uh, unequip the weapon. Now that, that's already two points up there with... Uh, tactical. Alright. So, wow. This is the grenade throw. And you can see the left handed reload. So, apparently, from what I hear, the left handed reload is only when you have a grip on the gun. Alright, now let's see how the grok sounds. Okay. Wow, that's actually some good reloading sounds. Wow, I like it. I honestly, I like both of these weapons. Alright, let's... So far, it's looking good. Alright, let's go customize it. Okay. So for your receivers, you have the option of automatic, semi, armor piercing automatic, armor piercing semi, hardened automatic, hardened semi, hardened piercing automatic, hardened piercing semi, powerful automatic, powerful semi. I'm gonna go with uh, powerful semi for your stock. You can have the CTR stock, the standard AK-74 stock, but with the back plates, 
or the Zenit Co. PT-1 stock. And I guess this, yeah. Or you can just have the standard stock without any back plate. I'm gonna put the standard stock. Your magazine, you have the option of the 6L20 magazine. I'm not too sure as to the difference of these magazines. Um, but well, what I can say is that this... Maybe it's on the side there's a difference. No, I'm not really seeing a difference. The only difference is would be the 6L2301 magazine and the 6L26 magazine, 6L18 magazine, and the 6L31 magazine. Um, yeah, I really don't know the difference. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just... Oh! Now I see the difference. It's the colors. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so it's the colors. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell when you have everything. Like, yeah, it's the colors. So, for the extended magazine, this is in black. This is in the regular uh, brown magazine. This is the extended magazine, regular magazine. So this is in the regular brown. That's in brown. This is in, like, in black. And this is in red, more, more or less. Okay, well, that makes more sense. Um, kind of confusing how the way it was, but anyways. For your handguards, you can have the tactical, tactical ultimac, so that's like an extended reel. And then you have the ultimac, which is the standard reels. I mean, same reel, but with the bottom of the handguard being wood. Then you have the regular wood furnish, the Zenico reel, which is more of an AK-12 kind of looking reel. Then you have the extended reel as well. That's definitely looking more like modernized. And then, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the wood furnish. And then for your sights, you have the option of the LP78 Kashtan sights. The LP93 uh, four sights. The Bellum. Bellomo PK06 Armacon rail sights, the Bellomo PKA sights. If I am pronouncing this wrong, forgive me. I have never heard of these site names. This one I do know, the PKAS, Bellomo PKAS. And you have the EKP816 Cobra sights. The EKPA 18 Cobra, the EOTech EXPS3, and EOTech on an AK. Oh, uh, whatever floats your boat. Uh, regular glowing iron sights, I OKP3 sights, a OKP7, a PN23 Sarakin sights, PSO1 sights. Uh, Rakar Rakers PM Armacon Sight Razor AMG UH1 Sight uh, Standard Sight without the glowing sights The Valde 1P87 Jupiter Sight And the Valde PS PS320 Sight That was a mouthful that's for sure. Um, I'm gonna put the PS. Not the PS01 sights. I'm gonna put the Belmo PK PKA sights. Okay. For your reel, you can put nothing on your upper. I mean, it really depends on the handguard. That that's what I'm seeing. So 
you just will need to switch it and then you can put let's look at the options okay all right for your upper reel you can put the zenith purse for laser i'm gonna switch it back the handguard so the wood okay for your muzzles you can put the standard muzzle the vendetta precision vp09 muzzle brake the Zenico DTK1 muzzle brake, the Zenico DTK2 muzzle brake, the Zenico DTK3 muzzle brake, the PBS4 suppressor, and the TGPA suppressor. I'm gonna go with the PBS4 suppressor. For your pistol grip, you can have the Magpul MOE pistol grip, standard AK74 grip. Or the Zenico RK3 grip. I'm gonna go with the Macball MOE grip. For your, for your color scheme, you can have the standard or the tan. I'm gonna go with the standard. Okay, for your damage, you can put a base damage. You can put 100, 150, 40, plus 60, plus 80. I'm gonna put plus 80. And wow, this looks like an actually good Kalishnikov. Kalashnikov, that's how you say it. Not Kalishnikov. Okay, gonna rename it. And we haven't even got into the Grok pistol. And that This is just on the AK-74. Definitely, um, definitely a good amount of customization on that AK. Anyways, now to the Grok. Here you can have the standard receiver, light frame receiver, heavy frame receiver, calibrated receiver, hardened receiver, chair hair trigger receiver, powerful receiver, calibrated powerful receiver, or advanced receiver. I'm gonna go with advanced receiver. For your grip, you can have the comfort grip. I mean, nothing's changed. I just put the sharp. I'll just put the sharpshooter grip. You can have your mag go quick. And then for your barrel, standard sights. You can only put those going sights. Rail, you can put the Zenico TP Clash uh, flashlight, I guess. Yeah, looks like flashlight. And then for the Zenico Mini Clash sight, it comes with the flashlight and the laser. I'm gonna put this one. For your rail, okay damage you can put plus 100 plus 150 plus 40 plus 60 or plus 80 and put plus 150 and for your material you can put just black standard or worn honestly i like the worn version and yeah um i guess we can't put any compensator suppressors or any like sights on this pistol that's fine the AK compensates compensates for it. All right, so this is how the site looks. Oh, that's some good sights. So yeah, you can see the reload is different, uh, and I, I'm gonna show really qu quick the third-person animations in a second. And this is the Grok pistol. Oh, so yeah, you can definitely see the the reload difference. All right. Oh wait, we forgot to favorite the AK. Oh wait, we have favorited. Show the third person animation. Come on. All right, this is how it looks in third person. Now I'm, that I'm thinking about it, I'm kind of getting future soldier vibes from that reload. Like it reloads so quickly though, and the sound. 
I don't know what it is, but I'm not gonna do combat in this video because there was a lot to go over in this pistol. Uh, I mean, in this AK plus pistol mod. But yeah, there was definitely a lot to it. Um, I like it very much. It's 118 megs, so that is definitely worth a download in my opinion. Uh, much more customization than the previous mod review, um, previous pistol mod review I did. Um, well, the link is going to be in the description down below for you to download it, as I said earlier. It's Gaming Private. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did enjoy doing this mod review. It was definitely a good mod to review. My next video I'm going to be doing is a South Korean Special Forces build for Breakpoint. So make sure to tune to stay tuned for that one. It's Gaming Private, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, and have a good day.